downtown Los Angeles, the view of the city's skyline is frequently obliterated by smog. The problem can be caused by power stations and industry. Here, though, the source is obvious. The city has nine million cars on its boulevards and freeways. Motorists here cover a total of 266 million miles each day. The exhaust fumes create ozone, a harmful form of oxygen, which is the main component of smog. But this vehicle is different. Its makers call it the Smog Eater. Scientists at the Engelhard Corporation say their breakthrough involves coating car radiators with a catalyst. As ozone passes over the coating, it's converted into harmless oxygen. I don't think it's the panacea we've been looking for. I think it can make a great contribution to reducing smog. This alone is not going to clarify the air behind me to the point where it's no longer an issue. But it can go a long way toward helping solve the problem. In an effort to prove the point, Engelhard and the Ford Motor Company have started field trials in Los Angeles. Three vehicles will be driven around Southern California for the next two months. The efficiency of the Premier Catalyst will be tested, but already there are skeptics. The data that they presented to us indicated that even in the most impossibly positive circumstances, that the Premier Catalyst would only reduce ozone peak level ozones in Southern California by one to four percent. And we're talking about a region that needs to reduce its ozone by 85 percent. Ford, though, is more optimistic. It says that the catalyst system will, for the first time, make the car a net consumer rather than producer of pollutants. The company insists that harmful emissions will be significantly reduced and that the smog eaters are working. Clearly they are. They're, they've proven very effective in the tests we've had thus far at substantially reducing the smog. And the smog enters the radiator and it comes out as pure oxygen. And that's uh, 80, 90, 95% effective if they, under the right conditions. The smog problem extends far beyond California. Over the coming months, field trials of the Premier system will be held in cities across the world, including London. Ozone can cause asthma and respiratory problems. The scientists say that this can help. If this smog-eating car lives up to its name, it could go into production as soon as next year. But the technology would add as much as 700 pounds onto the price of each new car. The cost of being green may be difficult to sell to the car-buying public. Jeremy Cook, BBC News, Los Angeles. That's it. Bye-bye.